Lorna uses the figure and uses Black American history as subjects in her work. One of the things that I was drawn to is that this is one of the pieces where she uses herself in self-portraiture interchangeably with these other subjects from an archive of Black photography. I'm interested in those places where there's a breakdown in the distinction of photographs, whether they're art or non-art. None of us pick up a camera naively without having seen other images that come before it, so vernacular photography is always playing off of those images that come from advertising or from lifestyle and leisure magazines or from movie stars or whatever. So I can't not see this, the vernacular photograph of the woman outside of, let's say, studio photographs that Dorothy Dandridge would have made and would have been circulated or maybe the type of sophisticated image of a black man in the 50s that you might see in Jet Magazine or one of the Johnson publications. So the makers of vernacular photographs, whether or not they're meant to be private albums or to sort of be displayed, are always responding to visual culture. One thing that's really nice about the serial quality of these is that you can't quite easily jump back and forth and make comparisons. So there are a set of comparisons set up, but you kind of, it sort of trips you up in, there are images where she might be doubled around a single archival image or separating out a diptych of her re-performing the guitar player, but then doubling up herself as the guitar player without one of the original archival ones. For me, it's really, it's like really fun visually to look at because sometimes I sort of lose track of whether or not I'm looking at her or the archive. The original archive is so technically like precise and exacting and I think what's nice about Lorna's is they, they have much more of a snapshot quality. Whereas the originals we understand as being performances, they are carefully composed, they are dressed up. We understand that this man picked out this suit. I don't think that the peak of her bra strap is any sort of accident, like the, the way that she's touching the chest set. Like, everything is very carefully constructed. None of these are snapshots. The type of almost snapshot that Lorna uses in reconstructing them really places that in performance. And I think it's important to consider these as, as a private album that may be shared, but what we get as viewers now is access to something that is private. And I think that's what Lorna's action does.